depletion of tourism potentials in western conservancies that can marshal up to 1.5 million people who have been, who have the ability to purchase a holiday stakeholders in tourism sector noted that the region is endowed with many rich and admirable tourism sites the industry is slumbering the situation pushed the stakeholders to organize a three-day tourism expo in kitale to showcase the region's potentials and initiative aims to marketing the region as a tourism destination the event that attracted over 40 exhibitions displayed a range of agricultural heritage, culture and tourist artifacts and hospitality facilities in the region. The event aims to showcase tourism potentials in the region that has not been fully exploited to uplift the living standards of the local communities. Key tourism sites include Mount Elgon National Park with its unique white elephant, historical caves, agriculture, heritage, and Saiwa National the Park, the home of rare antelopes. There's never been a tourism expo in Transoya, mm. so this is a premiere. And I'm happy to say that we've attracted a lot of attention, and uh, it's going to be our annual event. As you can see, we did, by Monday, we didn't think we'd have this many booths. By Monday, we had five confirmed booths. Today, we have 40 exhibitors, and I'm proud to say that this is a huge step. We keep saying we are the breadbasket of Kenya, but how many people know what we produce? We have Sakami Coffee, one of the major coffee farmers in, uh, in Transoya. Not just Transoya, they are, they are major exporters of coffee to the world, to European countries. So for me, this is, uh, is a very big event. It's not crowded, but success does not lie in numbers. Success lies in the quality of what you have attracted.